Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles, my name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're just going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind these readings are for entertainment only, meaning it is not a personal reading. If you are looking for something more personal and something more specific and suited to your current situation, then a personal reading is where it's at. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all the details will be in the show more section below, Sagittarius. Otherwise, if the reading is resonating, if some of the messages coming through are really hitting home, and speaking to you then be sure to show your support by claiming this reading liking sharing subscribing uh, don't forget to turn on the notifications bell upon subscription that way you are informed of every time I release a new video here on the channel and Sagittarius at the moment it is two love reads a week okay there is also a new special feature called the super thanks it is in the shape of a love heart if you utilize a new special feature you will be supporting the channel all right guys let's dive on in and take a look at the central energy and then we will take a look at your feelings towards your person that you are connecting to and dealing with and then we'll take a look at their feelings towards you all right central energy for our Sagittarians spirit angels and guides oh communicate okay so I feel that communication is on the cards you guys so if you have not been currently talking to this person uh, I do feel that you will hear from them this week okay for others of you you may feel called to reach out send a text message send an email I do feel that uh, communication is definitely key here for your connection this week uh, you might be in a situation where really speaking to how you really feel is key for this connection for others of you you're going to hear from this person and it's going to require some kind of a response or maybe you're reaching out to this person and they are going to respond with some kind of an answer maybe you're looking for answers maybe you're looking for clarity but in either case um communication is definitely on the cards or even possibly a heart to heart okay so let's take a look at your feelings this could be a matter of communicating your feelings or expressing your feelings this week so let's take a look we have the eight of cups reversed so Sagittarius I feel that you are still emotionally invested here ace of wands you're emotionally invested we have the eight of pentacles reversed ace of wands and we have the five of wands reversed at the bottom of the deck we've got the two of pentacles I see the two of pentacles as the card of conflict and the reason why that is is because you know the waves in the background are creating some kind of conflict for you emotionally feeling emotionally conflicted or you might be feeling emotionally unstable emotionally uncertain we do have the six of pentacles in reverse you may be feeling like your uh, the situation is unsided uh, one-sided or unfair here I do feel with the five of wands that you're feeling conflicted internally for some of you Sagittarians you may be working on yourself right now you may have felt that you have withdrawn from this person I do feel with the ace of wands that you're feeling inspired to reach out the reason why you're feeling inspired to reach out is because you still have feelings for this person or you're still invested here you're not quite done 
So let's let's clarify. Spirit angels and guides. Oh. Spirit angels and guides, can we please expand on the eight of cups? Spirit angels and guides, can we please expand on the eight of cups? Oh my god, the cards have just been going crazy today. So I might just have to take on the bottom of the deck. The nine of pentacles, you're still invested because you don't want to be single. You don't want to be alone. Okay, you're looking for love. You're looking for a commitment. You could also be experiencing not feeling like you're quite enough or you're not good enough. Hence why the Eight of Pentacles reversed is here. Feeling like you need to do more or be more. Let's expand on the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit Angels of Guides, can we expand on the Eight of Pentacles? The Strength card. You could be connecting to a Leo here. Yeah, I just feel with these two of pentacles that you're trying to spread yourself thin. Maybe you're over giving to a situation here, but I feel like you need to hold back. You might know that you need to hold back. Let's expand. Yeah. Eight of Swords. You're feeling blocked. You're feeling blocked, Sagittarius. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling blocked. You're definitely feeling conflicted, um, but you are inspired to take action because you don't want. You don't want to be single. You still want to be in a relationship here. Let's take a look at this person's feelings. Spirit angels and guides, can we take a look at this person's feelings? How does this person feel towards our Sagittarians this week? Spirit angels and guides, how does this person feel towards our... Oh, okay, there's three cards. Two, one card fell on the ground, which is was the King of Swords. Mm, okay. Queen of Wands. So this person is still thinking about you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting strong energy here that this person is single right now. And they're quite loving the fact that they're enjoying their freedom. Okay. I do feel that this person isn't talking to you. However, they still think about you here, Queen of Wands. I feel that this person will reach out and make contact with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, sitting above the, the Hermit. Okay, so something tells me here this person is going to break their silence. Let's, let's clarify this Ten of uh, Pentacles because I'm a little bit confused by that Ten of Pentacles, especially if this person is single. Maybe they're ready for something more serious with you here. Spirit Angels and Guides. Oh, there's the King of Swords. Queen of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. This person finds you attractive. 
But I honestly don't feel like this person's ready for anything serious or committed. I feel like there will be a discussion here around commitment or in regards to the future, like where is this relationship going? Where is this connection headed? I feel with the Queen of Cups reverse that this person's heart is closed. And with the Knight of Pentacles reversed tells me that this person isn't invested or isn't committed. I, I do feel like they will reach out or they will break their silence here. Let's expand on the Hermit card, Spirit Angels and Guides. Oh. Can we please expand on the Hermit card for our Sagittarians? How does this person feel? Okay, card took itself out. Yeah, they're going to return. Okay, they're breaking the silence and they're coming back to you to talk to you about the future of this connection. Okay, they're, they're coming to talk to you about their true feelings. Or to make their intentions clear here. Let's expand on this Queen of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Swords reversed. I feel like they want to provide clarity for you. Because here, see Queen of Swords? She's reversed. So it means this Queen is not clear this queen is not certain and I feel that they want to come in and bring some certainty to you <sighs> there's the knight of wands to clarify the nine of pentacles and I just feel like this person is quite happy to play the field Okay, they're quite happy to play the field here, Sagittarius. They're quite happy to be free. They're quite happy to come in and out when they wish, when they desire. I don't feel like this is someone who, yeah, I'm not getting that they want anything serious here. But they do know that there is a discussion that needs to take place regarding this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, they need to get honest and clear with you here about that Ten of Pentacles. I feel their heart is closed off or they're not open to anything romantic. And with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, this is someone who is not committed at this time. So there we have it, Sagittarius. That's your reading. Hopefully that brought some insight and clarity for you. Until next time, take care.